Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do a crochet wig using this hair and it's called the Authentic Indian Perm Yaki Hair. It is the DIY style and it does come pre-looped already. So I got six packs. I got one 350 and then the rest are in number one. So this is what three packs of hair look like so far. I have already tried it out because this is actually my first time using pre-looped hair. And I have to say, you guys, you have to be very careful when you're using this hair. Um, it is a little bit tricky, especially with straight hair. You have to make sure you spread it out throughout the cap as well as add hair in when you're done to make it a lot fuller. But I only used six packs of hair. I wish I would have used at least seven to make it a lot more fuller. So right now I'm giving you a close up of what the loop looks like. And I'm just gonna forewarn you guys, just make sure you be careful when you are tightening these bands because they do break pretty easily. And when you're putting the crochet hook through the cap, just make sure you go through the top and not the bottom. It allows for the hair to stay a lot better. Um, if you go through the bottom, it just slips right out. So you're gonna pull that loop through the cap and then twist the straight hair. Put it on the latch, close it up, and pull it through slowly. You do not wanna go too fast with this because it will easily come off the latch hook. Um, crocheting with straight hair is way different than crocheting with curly hair. And like I said, this is my first time actually doing it with straight hair. Um, I don't think I would actually do straight hair on a crochet wig cap again. I would definitely do it more, you know, with my hair and I'm just doing it on some crochet braid. But yeah, so I didn't eventually, I did eventually take out that red hair. Um, I wasn't feeling it with the black, but the the 350, the color 350 is pretty. It just to me, it didn't go very good with the black hair. So, but once you get up to that square part of the wig, you're now going to make your crochet loops closer together just to make it a lot more fuller at the top. I did want to do the individual knot method at the front, but it just wasn't turned out well. This is what it looks like with six packs of hair. I definitely did not like it straight, so I went on ahead and I curled it with some flexi rods. And I did use um, the larger blue ones, medium size blue, and some orange. You can find them at your local beauty supply store, but you just want to roll it up. And once you roll that up, you're then going to put that in some hot water, and you'll see that in the next clip. Okay, so just in case someone may ask, I did receive some tangling and I would, you know, that's not something that I was shocked about because it's supposed to be human hair texture, but I believe that this is blended hair. It doesn't really specify what type of hair it is, but I do believe that it's more of blended. Um, it may have, you know, just a little bit of human and synthetic blends together. That's what I'm guessing. So I have all my rollers in. I'm going to now put it in some hot water. And while it's in the hot water, I'm going to flip it so all of my rollers can get wet. I want to make sure that the wig is saturated with water. That way um, the hair will curl better. Once you're done with that, take it out of the bowl, put it on like a towel. Then, you know, if you have a mannequin head or something that you can allow it to dry on, just put it there. Allow it to dry for about 24 hours. My hair took 24 hours to dry. Um, it's a possibility that it could dry a little bit sooner than that, but I know mine's um, dried within 24 hours, so just keep checking on it. Okay. 
Okay, so we're now at the point where we're taking out the rollers. When you take out these rollers, just make sure you go in the way that the roller is put into the hair. And after that, you then separate the curls. Um, just be careful when you separate the curls too. You don't want to manipulate the curls or make it really frizzy. So this hair is supposed to blend in well with natural, most natural looks. Um, I only have just a tiny bit of leave out in the front. I tried to blend it with my natural hair, but it was not working very well for me. So you'll see the final look with me having a headband on. Since you put it on the wig, it makes it more like a temporary style. You can take this on and off. You can wear it in a ponytail, put a headband on it. Um, there's so many versatile ways that you can use when you're putting hair on a wig cap. So this is what it looked like. And once I undo the curls, it would then look a lot more fuller. So don't worry. It definitely does look fuller. And I want to mention that you can also use a curling iron on this hair up to 377 degrees. So if you want to, you know, use your curl iron instead of um, rollers, you definitely can. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Put it down in the comments. All the information on this hair will be down in the description box. I'm going to leave the uh, website, the type of hair, the color, everything that you're looking for down in the description box. So make sure you take a look there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you in my next one. And don't forget to subscribe.